I think Liz Truss will be a disaster for the country. I think she's completely mad. The mm. idea of cutting VAT costing... By the way, if it's, if it's 10% cut, which is the latest mm. thing, in that kind of bidding war which is taken over from in the energy world, if they do that, in one year alone, that will be 70-odd billion quid. Where's that coming from? And she wants to cut or increase the level at which you pay tax. I think she's going to cut one way or the other, another 30 billion. We are already firmly in the hole. As your piece indicated, 400 billion disappeared mm. during COVID. Now they're saying, well, we're not skint enough. We aren't broke enough. We're going to do this. Why is she saying this? What is wrong with her? Look, Rishi has got a curse on him. He yeah. forced Boris out. So... The Tories are not going to, the Tory heartlands are not going to forgive him mm. for doing that. So he, he can't win, even although much of what he says seems to make some sense. I cannot, for the life of me, work out why people think what Truss is saying makes sense. These are ordinary people. They're facing big issues in their own life. And then they're coming along, a leader is coming along and saying, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to borrow more money to make you feel better. For how long? Five minutes, five seconds. Well, well, wait, isn't there something liberating about being so broke? You get this sense in Washington where they've got officially a federal debt of $30 trillion, which no one has ever paid off in the history of mankind, and they're not figuring on paying it off. So if you owe $30 trillion, it's very easy to owe $40, $50, $60, $70 trillion. And having spent $400 billion just to close down the economy, uh, in a sense, aren't, uh, aren't people liberated from the facts of economic life now? What's it matter if, if you borrow 400 billion? What's the matter, difference okay. if you borrow 800 billion? Right, OK, that, that might be an argument, right? Mm. America mm. Uh, seems to believe in capitalism. It's a huge commercial enterprise, mm. a massive country, 370 million. Mm. Over here, we are like 60 odd million, 65 million. We aren't big enough. We're not a reserve currency. The first thing that's going to happen when trust gets elected is that the currency is going to collapse mm. from it being pretty low right now. We'll be one to one. We import 60 percent of our food. What does that mean? Mm. With, the, with, the, with the collapse of sterling, mm. we are going to find that food is more expensive than it already is right now. You, go, you talk to anybody, any ordinary person, the first thing they'll tell you is, last week mm. that tomato ketchup was two quid, this, mm. this time it's £2.50. These are serious, serious mm. issues. Mm. I am not saying I have an answer, but I tell you what, I do know mm. what an, one answer is from the electorate. Two years from today, the Tories are going to be thrown out of office in which, in a manner in which 97 will look like a look like a, 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 a great bonus for their party, they are going to be slaughtered in two important ways. The Lib Dems are going to take the South in a mm. rather dangerous way. I have said to you before, mm. I'm old enough to remember when Scotland was all Labour. Right. I can remember when the South was all Tory. Mm. That is going to change. The Red War is going to go back to Labour. And the Tories are going to be a small little party for a good, good few years, I'm afraid. But